In this video, we're going to look at how to get publication quality images passed through the clipboard as a bitmap. In the first instance, let's look at what the problem is with these bitmaps as, as they stand. If we simply use the display resolution in the left-hand pane and place a bitmap of that resolution and size on the clipboard that's indicated here on this Dalek window and then paste into another program such as Paint, you can see that the image and all its characteristics within Paint are the same as we saw in CAS XPS. And if we now paste the same image into Word, it looks reasonable within Word. However, the real test of whether it's of publication quality is if you look at say a 400% zoom of the same image and when we zoom this by 400% you can see that the text are slightly blurred when displayed in Word at 400% uh, and this is indicating that it probably isn't of sufficient resolution to allow a quality image to appear in some publication paper or book. So if we want to rectify this then on the annotation history property page of the annotation dialog window there's an option that allows us to change the resolution of the bitmap in fact what you do is you specify a factor so a factor of three when I press return will result in the creation of a bitmap with characteristics that are now determined by the scale factor three in other words the bitmap itself has been increased in width and height by a factor of three, but also the text and the line widths will also be adjusted by a factor of three. So when I place the new bitmap on the clipboard, then if I paste into paint, you can now see there's a, a very much larger image within paint. And now in Word, if I undo and then paste, We now have the large image and the scaled lines and the scaled font. So rather than seeing blurred font, now we can see we have a, a clear font that can be used with confidence when printing. You could also, if this isn't sufficient, there's a factor of six and the same action tells us that we've got a scale factor of six an increase yet again in the size of the bitmap. So pasting into paint. You can see the scaling has occurred once again and let's undo and paste the 600 dots per inch bitmap into paint. the quality of the text and the lines is now evident. So despite there being little difference as seen here at 100%, we now have confidence because the bitmap and the number of dots per inch has increased to the point that we see a good quality text and lines at a zoom of 400%.